Today on Power TV, we're taking a close look at tuning using the latest in air fuel ratio meter technology. We're going to install an Innovate Motorsports XD16 gauge and LC1 air fuel meter on our Project 2003 Ford Mustang Cobra. We'll show you the basics of how you can fine tune your engine and vehicle to the optimum air fuel ratio using a handheld programmer like a Diablo Sport Predator. Let's show you what you're going to need to install. Innovate set us up with their XD16 kit, which includes an LC1 wideband controller with a wideband O2 sensor, an XD16 gauge with programmable LED colors, and a push button for calibration. And the LogWork software, which allows us to analyze air fuel ratio, RPM, and other channels of data on a common PC laptop. Our project is a 600 plus rear wheel horsepower SVT Cobra with a Ford Racing Supercharger that runs in the 10 second range but seem to have a rich condition. The Innovate LC1 is unique in that this wideband controller is small and can be located anywhere safe on the vehicle. We chose to mount it to the inner frame rail for a great fit and a stealthy location. We use tie straps to fix the wiring away from the hot exhaust and drivetrain components. Then we were ready to install the bung in the exhaust pipe for the wideband sensor. Innovate supplies both the sensor as well as the bung for fitment into your X-pipe. Placement of the bung is important. We installed it in the 3 o'clock position. You can install a wideband sensor anywhere from the 9 o'clock to 3 o'clock positions, but you don't want under any circumstances to mount the sensor pointing downward. Next up was installing the XD16 gauge into the Cobra's gauge column. Innovate's gauge is thin and we had no problem popping it into place and running the wires down the back side of the dash. We flipped the switch and the multicolor display let us know we had power. Now we turn things over to Patrick Thompson from Innovate, who is going to walk us through the tuning process and capabilities of a data logging wideband meter such as the Innovate. Hi, I'm Patrick Thompson with Innovate Motorsports and uh, we got the XD16 and LC1 wired up now in this car. You can monitor air fuel ratio as you're driving down the road, and we, we can see right away that we're running a little bit rich here. The real question is, are we always too rich? Are we too rich in every gear? Do we have a gradual lean out at high RPM? Things like that. To get to that next level, you need to log the data. And more importantly, or equally importantly, you need to correlate air fuel ratio to other key parameters. On a modern car like this, the data is in the engine control unit, or the ECU. So you can use tools like a Diablo Sport Predator here to log data from the ECU in addition to the wideband, and then you know exactly where you are under any load condition. And once you tune your vehicle to get it perfect, maximum power, maximum performance, then one of the real advantages to our system is you can recalibrate in the field and under different conditions. So if you go to a race at a different altitude or, or uh, you have a, a major change in temperature or other barometric conditions, you can recal at that new location and then get right back to the dead-on perfect air fuel ratio that you already know is giving you maximum power. So let's take it for a spin, get some actual road data. We'll integrate the wideband and the ECU information into a single log file. We got the wideband hooked up, we got the ECU hooked up via the Diablo Sport Predator, and we're logging the channels we need. The important thing while we're driving is just making the recording, we'll analyze the data when we get back to the shop. We made a few different runs with the different fuel trims in the Diablo Sport Predator, logged all the data, and headed back to the shop. Here's an example in a log file where you can see RPM, load, and air fuel. And you can see by overlaying this log file on top of this log file that the second file actually had a steeper RPM curve. And that steeper RPM curve allows you to know that you are accelerating more quickly with this air fuel and that is the equivalent of having a dyno. Because without even having a, spending money at a dyno or doing any of the dyno day things, you can get all of the data you need and make all of the informed decisions with just a wideband, uh, laptop, log work software, and you can do all of the tuning that you need to. We picked up some solid power with our 2003 Cobra by adjusting the tune, but more than anything, we learned how you can use this newer air fuel meter technology from Innovate to help tune your vehicle at home or at the track without always needing the resources of a professional tuning and dyno shop.